जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम टेकिंग अ लेक्चर ऑन डिजिटल एंड सोशल मीडिया मार्केटिंग सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल कवर द इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट द डिजिटल मार्केटिंग हाउ डिजिटल मार्केटिंग इज इम्पॉर्टेंट ओवर ट्रेडिशनल मार्केटिंग एंड वॉट इज अदर इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ द डिजिटल मार्केटिंग राइट सो दिस इज अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन टू डिजिटल मार्केटिंग सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट यू मीन बाय द मार्केटिंग so as you all know that the marketing is all the activities related to promoting buying and selling of a product or a service right so it can be done in traditional way or it can be done with the help of a um, digital platform so if we are doing these activities uh, in traditional way like uh, i'm doing uh, the promotion of my uh, product or services with the help of uh, giving some pamphlet in the newspaper on tv advertisement and all so that is what that is the traditional way of doing the market of a product or a service right whereas if we are using the digital media right if we are using social uh, platforms like facebook twitter and other platforms like youtube so if we are using those platforms for marketing purpose for promoting our product promoting our services buying something selling something making some advertisement so this is what the digital marketing right so first of all we need to make a mind what do you mean by the marketing right so marketing is all the activities involved in the promotion buying or selling of a product or a service that is what the marketing right and what is the digital marketing digital marketing is a marketing strategy where we are using digital media and online distribution channels to develop communication and exchanges with the customers if we want to distribute some uh, information some uh, content about the branding some promotion strategies if we are using on the digital media if we want to discuss the features of our uh, digital uh, of our product then we can have the digital marketing right moreover if we want to uh, discover the desires of the customer right so as we know today we all are using digital platforms uh, we are using amazon flipkart and mantra ajio and there are many apps like nike and all right so we are purchasing product online and it is increasing this practice is increasing day by day right so if uh, every customer like me if i am buying some product online what i will do i will make a research i will search all the sites right and if i am using facebook then i can get the same advertisements are coming there again and again to attract me so what can be done with the digital marketing digital marketing can be a so uh, these platforms basically that can be a source of to discover the desires of customers right it can help the marketers to share information to the customer you can uh, see there are many bloggers and in if you are reading those blogs you can have some advertisement you can see some advertisement related to your desires related to your needs related to your uh, interest so you can attract at that time in those ads so digital marketing is a very good way to have marketing to have marketing in interactive way right now if we are coming to the definition as in the examination you write to the definition of the digital marketing so digital marketing can be described as actively promoting products and services using digital distribution channels as an alternative to the more traditional medium such as television print radio and many more these are the channels for the traditional marketing right so digital marketing is the term used for the targeted measurable and interactive marketing of product or services using digital technology to reach the viewers turn them into the customer 
and moreover to retain them right so digital marketing can be used very efficiently in these in traditional marketing what is the limitation in a one go if we are thinking about the limitation of the traditional marketing we can say that it is not easy to measure the marketing or how we are selling how we are projecting if we want to planning for that so for each and everything that measurable data can be provided better in case of digital marketing moreover traditional marketing is not at all interactive but in case of digital marketing it is interactive we can take customer feedbacks frequently let's suppose you are getting some pamphlet in newspaper there is a restaurant opening there and you want to visit them you will go and visit them but this is the one way communication right they are advertising their features they are advertising about their product their services but you cannot interact them what how you will interact them you will call a, you will make a call and find, uh, raise their query uh, your queries to them and they will answer them whereas in case of digital marketing you can immediately chat with them immediately uh, give the feedback with them and many more facilities are there so there is interaction proper communication right so this is how the beauty of the digital marketing right so digital marketing is the use of the internet basically so uh, as we say we have listened the word like internet marketing so inter marketing internet marketing is nothing but the subset of the digital marketing so digital marketing also uses the internet it is uses the mobile device it is uses the social media search engines and other channels to reach consumers how search engine can be used for the digital marketing we can search we can search anything on the search engine so let's suppose we are searching on a product you are searching about some product on a digital platform or uh, on a search engine let's suppose right so that data can be analyzed and some related advertisement may be placed may be put on that time so that customer may attract right so this is this is the way how digital marketing is useful to get the customer to reach to the cu customers right some marketing experts consider digital marketing to be an entirely new endeavor that requires a new way of approaching customers new way of understanding how customers have compared to the uh, uh, how customers behave compared to the traditional marketing right in india there are many businesses those are not on the digital platform we need to shift them also on the digital platform as many of the uh, business uh, like uh, if we are having some uh, printing industry in, uh, printing uh, printing industry uh, uh, products uh, consumables so we in general nowadays also we can see that there is no such platform for those product those services so there is a need to take those Uh, products or services on the digital platform this is all about the introduction of the digital marketing digital marketing target a specific segment of the customer base and it is interactive as we have discussed digital marketing is on the rise and include search results advertisement email advertisement and promotion tweets and many more Mark consumers can provide the feedback so it is what two way interaction between the company and the customer right so internet marketing is a subset hai na it differs from the digital marketing why it is written here because it is a subset of the digital marketing right internet marketing means what advertising that is the solely on the internet whereas the digital marketing can take place through mobile devices on the on a subway platform in a video game via smartphone app and many more right so digital marketing 
use the internet to reach the consumers digital marketing is a broad field including attracting customers via email content marketing search platform social media and many more so this, this is all about the base of the digital marketing right now we can have uh, a look on the evaluation how we reached towards the digital marketing so first of all we can say that there was the dread era at the very olden a time we can see that there was a trading uh, barter system so if one requires some product and other one requires some other product so they can share that product so that is called the barter system no money is required to trade them right so initially that was there then we focused on the production technology techniques for the production then the era changes and we focused on the product their specialty their characteristics right and then when production product are used in the market we need to sell them we need to create the demand for the that product so that sales era and then marketing era to promote their product because similar kind of many products are there in the market how to buy a correct product from the market it is very important to know each and to know to each and every customer if let's suppose i want to buy a mosquito net then also i need to understand how many types of products are there how many types of mosquito nets are there and what is the pricing for them and what is the speciality of each and every mosquito net if it is basically uh, useful for me then only i will buy so that marketing need to be done by the company by the sellers right and then after marketing there is a relationship era if we are promoting our products we are having some advertisement on the digital platform that is not sufficient we need to build the trust into the customer if we get the trust of the customer we can have some referral sale also right now comes on the digital era so all the marketing sales product promotions relationship all can be done on the digital platform and that is very useful because we can measure the effectiveness of it we can take the quick feedback of the customers we can show that feedbacks or that uh, projections to other consumers so that they can have the trust on that brand now why digital marketing is important up to now what we have discussed is completely satisfactory to know the importance of the digital marketing then also we know, should know the facts like in the global e-commerce sale expected to reach more than 5 trillion dollars by 2023 or maybe more than that 51% of the shoppers research their product on the google or any search engine before making them we know yes we are the customers we know that we make the research we make proper analysis right before purchasing them we used to visit many sites on average a person spend more than 10 hours starting at the screen you know you can analyze your time how much time you are uh, spending on the mobile devices i am also spending some time on mobile devices while we are traveling before this era what we are used to do we close our eyes and sleep in the buses but now in this time we didn't do this what we do what we used to do we used to use that mobile devices our mobile open and see what products what is trending nowadays and we are visiting some social media platform right so anyhow we are trapped everywhere in the digital marketing so this is the benefit of the digital marketing more than 4.5 billion internet users worldwide so this is the technology have reached each and every home today so everyone is having internet so that internet can be used for the digital marketing right so now digital marketing is important we can get the customers even 
if they are living in the villages also. An estimated 3.5 million people around the world have the smartphone. Yes, before some time, if we talk about 2004 when I joined this college, I do not have phone. Then I purchased some small phone that is having some keys that was not smart. So, at that time, no smartphone, no people or very less people have the smartphone. But sir, the, uh, as time goes, we all have the smartphone, latest smartphone. So, now we are using the smartphone. So, the companies can use that smartphone, your smartphone for their advertisement. Right. And you all know that Corona or uh, COVID-19 peaks boost online sales. Uh, there was a time when we are not allowed to go outside the home, so we can order online. So, we are now ma uh, making ourselves habitual and the apps like Blinkit, it provide our order in 10 minutes or before than that. So, they are making us dependent on them and that is not bad. If I uh, reached home and I making tea for myself and suddenly I see that there is no biscuit in my box. So, what I can do? I can blink it, right. So, I can blink it, I can get that product in 8 minutes. So, as I get tea, that tea ready, I can have biscuit with them. So, this is what dependency they are creating on the answer. So, that is how digital marketing is important, right. Now, these are the five D's for digital marketing. This is required. So, one is the first D is the digital device. So, we require some of the digital device like smartphone, tablet, desktop computers and many more. So, we require digital devices. Okay. Digital platform, most interactions on these devices are through a browser or apps from a major platform or service that is what Facebook, Instagram, Google, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok videos, right. So, there are many Snapchat. So, there are many digital platforms we are generally using. So, digital marketing can be done through these digital platforms. The next D is the digital media. Digital media is a the channel, right. We require some communication channel to reach to our customers, to engage customers, to engage audience including advertisement, email and messaging. So, search engine, social network. So, we require that, right. So, we require that digital media. Then the next D is the digital data. The inside businesses collect about their audience profiles and their interaction with businesses. So, that digital data can be collected through these medias and those platforms which we are using. Let us suppose if we are searching something, some product, some service on some uh, search engine or, or on some app. So, suddenly when we open our Facebook, we can see that there are same advertisements, same similar product advertisement, similar services advertisement we can get there. How it is possible? Because they companies are collecting their our digital data from different apps, from different um, like search engines and all the platform which are using. So, companies can collect that data, right. So, that digital data is very important to know the audience profile, to know about the customers interaction, uh, customers in uh, interest, right, what customer likes, what customer dislike and what is the near requirement of the customers, right. So, if, a, if we uh, collect the data from the hospitals, right, ke the couple's names and their details who are getting a newborn baby. So, what we can, uh, what market we can develop for the diapers? Because they require diaper in for future two 
year or more than that. So, we can, they can have targeted customer for a diaper company, right. So, next D is the digital technology. So, the marketing technology or MarTech tech that businesses is used to create interactive experience from websites and mobile apps to in store or uh, we can say that the mark, uh, email campaigns, right. So, the digital technology is required. There are many search engine optimization tools available to promote this digital marketing and there are many more technology available like artificial intelligence, machine learning. We can use those digital technology to have the better analysis about our product, about our business, about our customers and many more. Right. So, these five D's are important for the digital marketing. Now, before moving towards the digital marketing, we need to have an idea about the traditional marketing and the shortcomings of the traditional marketing, right. For the examination purpose also, it is very important. So, what do you mean by traditional marketing? Businesses can market their product on print media, radios, TV channels, billboards, business cards and a numerous other comparative ways where they can place their advertisement. You can see in the morning when you get up, you take the newspaper, you can get many pamphlets in that. That is what the traditional way of doing marketing, right. So, the traditional marketing is anything except digital means to brand your product or your logo. So, if we are not using digital platform, we are doing marketing to distributing pamphlets, we are doing marketing to by placing advertisement or TV channels, this is comes in digital uh, sorry traditional marketing strategy. So, what is the shortcoming of the traditional marketing? It is that which means what? There is no way to interact with the audience there is no way to interact with the customers. Whereas, in the digital marketing, we can interact very well, we, win, we can give our feedback like if we are talking about the that app that what uh, Blinkit, right. So, we can, uh, if I am getting my order and if we are having some issues with my order, I can immediately chat or I can immediately interact with the uh, person who are taking care of those orders and we can shut out our issues very immediately, right. But it is not possible in case of traditional marketing. So, this is what the shortcomings of the traditional marketing. Traditional marketing is totally static. If we are having some issues with those product or services, we need to make more and more follow up, right. Now, traditional marketing ways, how we can do? So, as written in the previous slide, we can do the digital marketing by putting pamphlets in the newspaper or by placing advertisement in the newspaper, putting advertisement in the magazines. We can make the flares and vouchers, uh, brochures and place them in magazines and newspapers. We can make our advertisement on the radio, we can make our advertisement on TV channel, we can make our advertisement on billboard and all. We can see there are some live, uh, there are some boards placed on in front of the lift. So, every visitor of the lift can see those billboards and can attract towards those uh, customers. So, product sorry. So, this is how the traditional marketing can be done. Now, the digital marketing as we have already discussed, they market their product using various digital channels fueled by internet to a well targeted and interactive way to the customer. So, what is the most important feature of the digital marketing? One is the interaction, proper communication, proper interaction is there. Another one, the marketing is very measurable, right. So, the example of digital marketing include things like website, social media mention, you, YouTube videos and banners, ads, etc. So, digital marketing is basically similar to the traditional marketing. So, but 
using digital device and media. Both are, uh, if we are talking about digital marketing, it is for promotion, buying, selling of the product or services. If we are talk about traditional marketing, it is also for promoting, buying, selling your product or services to the customers, right? But what is the difference in digital marketing? We are using digital device, digital media, digital platform, moreover digital data. And the beauty of the digital marketing, it is interactive, right? So, these are some strategies or uh, some te technology which we can use for the digital marketing. Digital marketing can be used for the branding purpose also. One, uh, if we are having, a, um, we know like Adidas, that is a brand, we know. So, they need not to tell about their features, how they are becoming uh, as they are brand, so they need to only show their designs and all and we can attract with those designs. We know each and every shoe will be comfortable of Adidas. Like if we are taking example of the Pepsi, Coca Cola, right. So they need not to make advertisement to show the customers that or to tell the customers that they are making the soda soda in the company no need, they need not to because they are brand so they make advertisement like uh, we need to share the cola or uh, coca cola or if it is pepsi then also so they share and build the relationship so such ad will be there because the brand is created but digital marketing can be used for the branding purpose also if our product is new right digital marketing requires social media it uh, digital marketing can be done by the email marketing also, content marketing also. Like some people are uh, write blogs to market their product to um, uh, tell the features of the product to the customers, so they can write the blogs, right? So video production, uh, search engine optimization, web design, search engine marketing, app development. These are the things where which can be used in the digital marketing, right. Now, time comes when we want to know the traditional versus digital marketing. From the previous slides, we get a picture how digital marketing is having importance over traditional one. There all, then also, we need to write point wise in the examination. So, here we are discussing the things point wise. So, digital marketing has brought about a shift in a way we approach our potential customers, placing more control in their hand, then it comes to how they consume their advertisement, right. There are many technology like artificial intelligence, virtual reality. So, these technology can be used for the marketing campaigns, right. So, uh, if we want to know some point wise differences, we can go through it, right. So, so if we talk about the difference between the traditional marketing and the digital marketing. So, in the traditional marketing, what we can see or what we can write communication is the limitation of the, uh, the traditional marketing. So, communication is what? Unidirectional in the traditional marketing, which means an organization communicate about its services with its audience, right. But in case of digital marketing, communication is what? Bidirectional. In digital marketing, as business can communicate with customers, and customers can ask queries or make suggestions to businesses as well, right. In the last month, I see a advertisement on the Facebook for uh, some bed sheet and, buy, and I buy that, right. So, I taken uh, a number from the that uh, Facebook and uh, I join the WhatsApp group and I buy a bed sheet. Right. So, I get that bad sheet. 
and after some time I want, I have some issues with that and I want to contact. So, as I buy that bed sheet and I join that group and I left that group. So, after that the issue is resolved, if I want to resolve that issue, it become very difficult for me. Whereas, if I buy that particular bed sheet from any trusted uh, app like Mantra or uh, like Amazon. So, that issues cannot be there because there is a very good communication medium, right. So, another point, what is important? First point is the communication that is very important and the second point is the medium of communication and decision marketing that is what the phone calls, emails, letters and all. So, it is what time consuming process, right. Whereas, in the digital marketing, medium of communication is more powerful and involves social media websites, chats, apps and email, fast communication is there. So, the medium of communication make them different, right. In case of traditional marketing, campaign in traditional marketing takes more time, right. To design the things, to design the pamphlet, preparing it, launching are involved. So, it takes time. Whereas, in the digital marketing, the same things are there, we require some digital tool to channelize the digital marketing campaign, but it will become easier with those tools, right. So, campaign in the digital marketing take less time in comparison of the traditional marketing, right. So, the next difference we can see that the traditional marketing is best for reaching the local audience, whereas the digital marketing can make the global audience, that is very beneficial point. And the last point, it is more almost impossible to measure the effectiveness of the traditional marketing campaign, right. So, this is the limitation of the traditional marketing, whereas in the digital marketing, it allow you to measure the effectiveness of the digital marketing campaign through analysis. There are many analytical tools available so that we can have that analysis, right. So, this is the importance of the digital marketing. We are closing our chapter here, uh, this uh, lecture here and in the next lecture, we will more have on the digital marketing. Thank you so much.